Um, before we get to my feelings, my feelings are necessarily important at this moment. It's the feelings of Barbadians and it's important the feelings of members of this party. And I want to thank them for putting their confidence in me. This is a historic moment for the party and a historic moment for the country as we seek to rebuild and revive and reliven our party and our membership. And I really want to thank them. And I, and I want to extend full thanks and a hearty thanks to uh, Steve Blackett for his stewardship over the last couple of months. It has been great to try to pull the party together. Our first task is to unify this party and to bring everyone together and to tell and to signal to Barbadians, to members, supporters, that this party calls you to arms. This party calls you home. All of our supporters, Democratic Labour Party members, who are members, paid up members, who are not paid up, I want you to come home. During the recent general election campaign, I talked about this party as a big tent. I talked about the fact that we better days are ahead of us and that we can all walk in the sun together and I invite you into this tent. I want you to feel part of our family and anyone hearing my voice within reach of my voice know that this is one Democratic Labour Party family and that we are ready and we're preparing ourselves to serve you and in the coming months we'll begin to roll out our program and our policies and we'll begin to talk and listen with you and, uh, and, I, and again I just simply want to say thanks. I just want to say thanks to everyone who's been so supportive my wife, my family, my mom. This has been a big journey, and this is just but the first step. There's much work to do, but you know, all hard work begins with one small step, and today we do that, and I'm encouraged by the membership here, I'm encouraged by the words of kindness that I've got from all Barbadians, and hopefully we can also practice a kinder, gentler politics, a new politics, as I talked about during the campaign. A politics which includes people, we include everyone, we hear their voices, and it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter who you are, what your last name is. This party has a place for you. This party has a seat for you. You have a room at the table for the Democratic Labour Party. We are one family, we encourage you to join and continue with us and share with us as we move forward to build this country. What's first on the agenda for you, Dr. Young? Enjoy my time here with my family. That, that, that is it. Um, and then we will move forward from there. Uh, we will reach out uh, to the public, we will reach out internally, which is important. As like I said, um, single mission at this moment is unity. One Democratic Labour Party family. And I want to tell everyone, persons who voted for Dr. Eswick, persons who voted for myself, persons who didn't support me, that you are included. You are part of this project. We want you to be part of this project. There is no old guard, new guard. This is one Democratic Labour Party family. Everyone is welcome here at this table because you all have opinions and views and we all share in the same values and that is a social democratic policy for Barbados, a, party, a, a, a policy that builds an inclusive country where all Barbadians feel not they only have a voice but it translates into reality that they can build their families and live their lives up in dignity and that's what this party has always stood for and it will continue to stay for that. As we said today the theme was about legacy and shaping the future and that is what the new, the new Democratic Labour Party will be about drawn on the best traditions of who we are to build out where we are going. Thank you.